Hey guys, welcome back to Indie Brew, the only show on the internet dedicated to mankind's finest achievements, drinking and gaming. Today we're looking at Alborado, a physics-based rhythm game, if it can be called that. I'm going to call it that. And number nine from Magic Hat. And this says it is a performance in every bottle, so linking up the beer and the brew in the game. Something like that. It's not quite a pale ale, it says. That is quite not pale. Um, let's see. This is 5.1 alcohol oh, ABV from Rochester, New York. Let's get a smell. And it does have a little thing in the cap here. It's later right now than it's ever been before. I don't know about that, but it smells like a beer. It doesn't have any notes that doesn't smell like just a Michelob light or something like that. It's just, it is the most beery smelling beer we've had on the show ever. I'm not getting any citrus notes. All I'm getting is that stale, cheap beer aroma. And that's a bummer. Let's hope it doesn't taste like steel cheap, stale, stale cheap beer. All right, we'll be right back, guys. All right, so this is El Barado, El Bilibrado, apologies. So, the controls are pretty simple. Use WASD to move uh, Barado around. Press space to close the to the close to the keyboard to change the background music. The stars show how difficult the music is. Use the arrow keys to play a song. Do it right to win some meat. The audience will ask for a kind of music place space to close to the table. Uh, the writing. Uh, this is your hunger meter. Don't let it drop down. Press space to start. And I, I did mention there's some physics we can knock over the tables and stuff, or the waiters. So we're going to come over here, and we're going to start pretty quickly. And it's it's pretty forgiving at first. Things will pick up difficulty until uh, my inebriated fingers won't be able to keep up anymore. And we will just see how they pop up, and we got ourselves a little bit of food. I, I think it's charming, I think it's cute, it's kind of got a, you know, some some goofiness going on with it. I like the music, the music's a little hokey and silly, but that's okay too. And, again, it starts off really simple. And then we got some more food. And now we can come back over here, and you can already see we've, we've gotten one of our... Uh, poor waiter's a little, uh, down for the count. And over there is the second difficulty, which you can see. Which we will get to. After we do this table. And keep it going. And the whole point of the game is to do this as long as possible, essentially. And don't knock over tables, because that will make you lose meat. And you don't want to lose me. You do not want to lose me. And it, again, it does get harder. We'll do some of the, the harder ones here next. I missed one. Which I'm pretty sure means we don't get as much meat. So we come over here, we change it, and then we'll go over here. And of course you see the rockers over there want harder thing. And it does get much faster. And it does take a little bit of concentration to do. And we're knocking over waiters left and right. But that's okay. And there we go, we knocked over a table finally with our big stupid tail. I think it's cute, I think it's fun. Um, I'm not, I have definitely not recorded this twice, and that's why the beer is low, which you'll see. And again, it's fairly forgiving, and I already knocked over some more people, so we'll do a, a more difficult one until we get to the hardest difficulty. Oh. And it's really difficult to keep up. And I like how it makes you sound when you mess up. 
Yeah, they're not happy about that. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, I knocked him over. Uh, we'll, we'll go see the hardest difficulty this is basically what we've got left. And you'll see just how crazy this gets. I, I like this game a lot. I, I think it's cute. Nothing more to say. Hey, buddy. I'm about to fail. Really badly. It, it's so fast, I, I can't even register it. So, while while we're, we're failing, I really like the wall posters. <laughs> yeah, everyone's pretty mad at us. Hey, ladies. I see that you want an easier version. I'll come and do you next. And probably end up dying. But I, I think it's good. Hey, if you guys can beat the four star rating, uh, my hats are, are off to you. All of them. <laughs> and I like knocking over tables, although it seems a little... harsh. And there's a cool closing scene. And, um, everyone's knocked over, so I guess we're gonna go see if we can get into the back. Maybe the kitchen wants a song or two. I think this was made for the PewDiePie jam. I'm not really sure how oh, we can't leave. So it's a slow death, so I will drink the beer. It's really generic. It's got the hops that you would expect. Ooh, that's a really cool effect on the table. On the chair. Can we move the- yep, we can. Why can't we eat off their table? We should totally be able to eat off their table. It's cute, I like it. Uh, the beer is... So, it's okay. Um... It's not my favorite beer, it's not my least favorite beer. Um, but that's the game. It's your 5 minutes and 22 seconds of performance of Dinosaur. Albalardo Barbosa attacked his audience in a burst of hunger. Even though it says burst of hungry. He said it's all of the food chain. Last night at the Stone Guitar Steakhouse, singer Albarado Barbosa had a hungry crisis, and hunger crisis, I imagine they mean, and tried to attack his audience. It was crazy, said one of the waiters. The police arrested the dinosaur, who claims to be innocent. It's the food chain, and there's nothing wrong with it. Thanks for playing. Press start to restart. We won't be doing that. We're going to leave it here. Uh, beer is so-so. There's nothing distinguishing about it. It's not very alcoholic. Um, it tastes like a generic d dollar store beer. Um, and that's not bad if that's what you're going for. But it's definitely not um, what you want to look for if you want something a little bit more special. So sorry, number nine. You may not be quite a pale ale, but you're also not quite a stellar beer. So as always, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching.